We're starting off our video with what I ate today. And this morning, I am trying out this Simply Potatoes with onions. And this is where we're at. The instructions are calling for me to add two tablespoons of oil, but I only added one teaspoon of extra virgin olive oil to this. And um, I'm making about a cup of this mixture. Now, I have to confess, I do not like onions too much. So I'm hoping that this does not have a huge amount of onions in this. And that this is super yummy because everybody and its mother-in-law is recommending that I try this on YouTube. So I'm really hoping that this is really good. I just hit a huge plateau on my Weight Watcher journey. So I'm trying new foods. I am trying everything that I can. I'm working out extra at the gym. And I'm just hoping that trying new foods and trying all these new things helps me. Okay, so far, it's looking good, right? Especially since I really don't eat that many potatoes. I don't know. What do you think? Now I'm going to tell you about my newest find at Starbucks. Normally, I'm like a hot type of drink girl when I go to Starbucks. I normally just order a fat-free latte. But I've been noticing that I need like some extra energy lately, right? So, I went to Target on, what was it? I think it was Saturday that I went to Target. And I was just like, oh, you know, let me try like a cold drink. You know, it's kind of like a hot day, so I'll try that. So I ordered a cold brew um, coffee, non-fat, with sugar-free vanilla. Oh my goodness. It was just like, ah-ha-ha, kind of moment for me. I was like, ooh, I started walking around Target, and I was really sluggish, and all of a sudden, it was just like, I was full of energy, and I was just like in a happy mood. I was just like... Where have you been all my life, right? Then I saw, um, I watched a video and someone else was like, oh, I always get a skinny latte. I'm like, well, I always get a hot latte. I don't get any type of energy with a latte. So this morning I went to my local Starbucks and I was just like, oh, you know, I wanna get a latte. I wanna get a cold brew. And I said, what's the difference between a, um, a latte and a cold brew? I said, which one has? more um, caffeine. She goes, oh, cold brew for sure. I said, that's the one that I had on Saturday. She goes, yeah. I said, okay. I said, what type of um, sugar-free syrups do you have? So she says, we have a vanilla. She said, we have a um, dolce, dolce something. And she said, and then she named another one. I said, I said, I want to try the vanilla and the dolce something. That's what I'm having right here. This is a venti. Okay, so this one says non-fat, um, fat-free milk, which is what I chose, and then uh, with vanilla and that dolce something. So when they give it to me, she goes, try it. She goes, if you don't like it, she goes, we'll make it again. The girl was super nice. I really, she was awesome. So I tried it and it was a little bit bitter. And I said, you know, it's still a little bit bitter. She goes, you want me to add more fat-free milk? I said, yes. She goes, I go, so is that what I'm supposed to just, you know, say? She goes, yeah. She goes, just tell them next time. So I tried it. I, I added a little bit more. Um, I just added like two packages because this is a venti. Um, I added two packages of the, the Splenda. And perfect. So if you want to pick me up at for a non-fat cold brew and add whatever sugar-free syrups that it is that you prefer, this is what it is. Perfect, right? love it and of course it's all simply fine and here's my breakfast um i've tasted the potatoes and you know what i can taste the onion but i thought it was going to have like chunks of onion and it doesn't so i don't mind the taste of the onion because of that um i uh, made some scrambled eggs i added one whole egg and three tablespoons of the Trader Joe's 
liquid eggs, which amounted to one whole egg because of the three tablespoons. I really like this cage-free liquid egg whites. And I'm having hot tea. I'm going to be um, having my cold coffee all day, so I'm saving that for later on. And my hot tea is actually this. Korean red ginseng tea, which I picked up at Chinatown when I went um, last year. And I don't, I don't add any sugar or anything to that, no Splenda, no, no nothing, no Stevia, nothing. I just, it's like a packet, it's just like a powder red ginseng, and it's like really good for you. So this is what I'm having right there. And it just, you know, it dissolves. So that's what I'm having. Um... And this is my breakfast, and of course, I added an apple because I wanted to have, it looks like a weird kind of apple, but, and I know for sure that I'm not going to finish all of this. Normally, I eat half of this, and of course, right now that I'm really trying to just move that scale, I know for sure I'm not going to finish it. Now, I tasted the potatoes, and you know, they're really good, but they really leave a taste of the onion in my mouth. I don't know if I like that too much, but... I do like the potatoes. But I've, again, if you love onions, you're going to love these potatoes. Because, I mean, they're really good. They're really crunchy. Um, they taste fresh. I, I mean, when I buy vegetables, I like to buy frozen vegetables. I will not buy canned vegetables. I have an issue with canned vegetables. So, um, if you like onions, you're really going to like that. If you don't like onions, you're probably going to have a little bit of an issue with it. Because, you know, they taste... That's like the onion and taste, but you'll still like them. I don't know if I'm contradicting myself with this, but anyways, this is my breakfast. I hope this gives you ideas. And don't you love my mug? I love my mug. I have, yeah, I know, paper plate and not paper mug, but when I, I don't know, there are days that I have issues with using paper mug. Today is one of those days. I'm trying to motivate myself here. Anyways, enjoy your breakfast. Well, I'm about to start my day, but before I do that, I normally have a small time doing a devotion. Normally in the mornings, I do my morning routine before I do anything else. I make my bed, I tidy up my, um, my restroom, I get dressed for whatever I'm going to be doing that day. Right now, I'm already dressed to go to the gym. I already went to um, pick up my Starbucks, I had breakfast, and now it's time to do a little devotion. And let me share with you what books um, I'm doing with my devotion. I really felt that there's no way that I can share with you what I'm doing throughout my day without sharing with you about my devotion. And that's what I'm going to do this morning. Streams in the Desert is one that um, I normally read because with this book, you know, you go day by day and it's just a small read and you get a scripture with it. And it's, I, I really, I really like it because it's just exactly what you need for that day. This is one of them. Then I use this one that is Daily Light. Again, it's another one that you go that day and it has morning and night. Normally I read both morning and the night in the morning. <laughs> it's not supposed to be like that. But let's be honest. I know I won't have time in the evening, so I'll do both of them for that night. This one is really just an awesome one that if you're going to choose one from the other, it depends what season you're in. If you feel, you know, like if you're going for through difficult times, then use this one first. But this one is just full of scriptures. That's pretty much what you're getting with this one. This one, oh my word. This one is just, I can't be without this one, really. Um, from Oswald Chambers. Let me just show you. It's right here, it has a scripture, and it, it really is just his sermon notes that they've put into... Um, into daily readings and this one's another one and I am going through 
this book right here, right now, is Trusting in the Names of God by Catherine Martin. This book really has taught me one thing, and that's what I'm going to leave you with, that there's no way that you can trust God if you don't know him. And the one way that you can know him is by reading his word. Here. You can't know God if you don't know him. You know him by reading his word. That's the one thought I want to leave you with. You know, sometimes we just hear messages. Some of us are the type that we hear messages through um, online. You know, and I'm not here to tell you one thing or another, but read his word. That's how you're going to get to know God, and that's how you're going to get to trust God. And that's it. That's all I want to leave you with, and I feel like I can't share my day with you if I don't share that one of the most important things that I do throughout my day. And that's having time with the Lord. However time you share with him, whether it be 15 minutes, 20 minutes, an hour a day, that's up to you. But I just want to, you know, encourage you that. Okay, I wanted to give you um, a little update in between everything I'm doing today. Well, my weigh-in day is on Fridays. And... I knew that because I had had a few days that I was completely off plan that I might, I may have, you know, a little weight gain. I went away on, let me see, what day did we go away? Oh yeah, I went away on Sunday, Sunday, yes. We went to Universal Studios, Hollywood. And um, we had a great time as a family. We, it was just a little mini getaway. So we went away on Sunday, Monday, and we came back Tuesday night. So it was the first time that I was, I knew that I was not going to be on plan at all. So I was wondering, you know, what my weight was going to be like once I came back. So I weighed myself on Wednesday morning and oh my goodness, ah, I was just like, ah, yes. When I came back, there was a three pound gain. I, I mean, I was just like, how could that be? I know I have I had made some changes in um, some of the supplements that I was taking because I'm supposed to be taking several supplements just to maintain um, everything balanced with like my hormones and just with my fibromyalgia and all of that because I had some issues, like you remember. So, um, not I know that I was off track, but I didn't expect just all the different changes. So I was like, okay. So because I weigh myself every day, that's how I'm able to keep track of everything that I do, right? So the following day after that three weight gain, I had already lost that one pound, which I knew it was probably gonna happen. But ever since then, I have been really good and just eating everything on plan, simply filling foods, really not using any of my points. I went back to the gym, finally was able to stay on track with that. And I've noticed that um, I'm at a plateau. Yeah, I'm just like stuck. And I know that that has to do a lot with these new supplements that I'm taking. So, and I've just noticed other other changes. So when it came to... Friday, which was my weigh-in, I um, remember I had lost 2.8 pounds the week before. Well, I gained this Friday 1.9 pounds from those 2.8 that I had lost. So now I hear a lot of people, you know, when you know that you've been off plan for a few days and they say, oh, it's okay. I expected it. No, it's not okay. No. Never. It's not okay. I know I expected some gaming, but I did not. It, you know, it was just like, no, it's not okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's never okay. <laughs> Even though I was, you know, expecting to have some weight gain. And I know why it's happening. It's just like, I'm having a hard time because I expected the weight gain. But I didn't expect to stay at this plateau because now I'm going to this second week 
and I notice that the scale is in exactly the same spot every single day. Okay, so the changes that I'm making, like I showed you in the last uh, video, you know, I'm planning my meals, I'm exercising, I'm doing all these things, but the different thing I'm doing now is I'm getting off those supplements to see if maybe that is the reason why I'm, I'm in this plateau. Because being off for Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday should not keep me, keep me in this plateau. So I know this sometimes happens to me when I start new supplements. Um, it just happens at times. So the good thing is that I was in those supplements for only about a week and a half to two. So I'm hoping that by next Friday, I'll be off of this plateau. Please, Lord, let it be. So we will see, you know, when I start, you know, when I go and weigh in this Friday. Um, please let it be, Lord. I'm praying. But I know I'm that, you know, I'm, I'm being very careful. Um, I really love the pasta salad. But I also know that, you know, pastas are not good for me. So I'm not eating it anymore. Good thing my daughter really loved it. So I'm hoping that she'll finish it off for me. And that's it. So I wanted to just give you a little update of what my weigh-in was last Friday and what was happening. And um, I know that there was, you know, like just like I said, just different changes and um, and whatnot. So anyways, okay. So you already saw what I had for lunch, which was a sandwich and some sugar-free jello, and I'm still continuing to enjoy my coffee. Oh, gosh, I just love that new find of mine. And um, I was telling my husband, I know that they sell this um, from Coffee Mate, I think is the brand. Oh, Mr. Coffee, I'm sorry, Mr. Coffee. Um, how to make, you know, your own. It's, it's, it's an espresso machine, and I think it's only like $39.99 or something. Um, and I'm like, you know, I'm really considering buying that little espresso machine so that I can make my own little iced coffee here at home and save that money from Starbucks. And he's like, where are we going to put it? I'm like, I don't know, but I can say, you know, that if you go every day to Starbucks, which for me, it's a little treat. Um, but who knows? I'll let you know if I buy it because I think it's like a little treat as well. But I don't know where I'm going to fit it. Anyways, that's it. OK, continue your day. Bye. Well, I wanted to finish the video that I started yesterday regarding what I was going to be eating and um, also tell you just how my weight is going and um, after my lunch I continued my day I was extremely busy and I actually didn't get to go to the gym until in the evening which I actually did not really prefer that because the, the gym was packed but that's just the way my Mondays normally go and um, before I, I left, I made myself a smoothie. And, um, well, it was like a protein shake, I should say. It was not a smoothie. It was a protein shake. And I made, I made it this time with almond milk. And then um, for dinner, I made a, um, let me see, I used extra, extra lean um, ground turkey. Because I decided that for this week I was going to try to stay off of red meat. Because I think that red meat just, I just don't do well with red meat. Even though, even if it's extra, extra lean, I just don't do well with red meat. So I used extra lean ground turkey. And I added some potatoes. I added, um, let me see, some onions. And then I added just a vegetable medley on that. And then I, um, on the side I just made some ground, um, some brown rice that I made. So my husband said it was good, but that I it should have a little bit, it was tasted a little bit bland, which I know I have to improve on that. I mean, I added um, just all the different spices, but for some reason he said that it was a little bit bland. So I ate it. I thought it was good. But if the husband doesn't like it, I have to keep on trying, right? <laughs> Anyways, so that's what I had for dinner. Let me see. And then a little bit later in the evening, I had a little bowl of... Um, I'm sorry, not a little bowl, just a regular size bowl of some Cheerios with banana and fat-free milk. And that's how I ended my day. And I was wondering how I was going to do this morning. And that's why I waited to record this video 
that for the end of my day and to today because I wanted to see if the scale would move because as you know it's been about five days that the scale has not moved at all so I got off my supplements I changed this just the things that I've been eating and I've been eliminating certain things like red meat I've been eliminating all pasta um, even though it's you know um, whole wheat pasta or whole grain pasta I've eliminated all of that and finally this morning the scale moved and I am praying it stays like that until my weigh-in day or that it keeps going lower we'll see I'll see tomorrow to see if it stays that way because I've done the same thing today um, I worked out yesterday for a little bit over an hour just about an hour I should say so let's see how that goes and it continues I'm trying to learn just how to edit my videos a little bit better so like that I can uh, be a little bit more consistent in my YouTube channel as it's you know it continues to grow little by little in baby steps and um, to bring you better quality videos as well okay leave me your comments please subscribe tell me what you think tell me what you're eating tell me what you like what you don't like be nice I always say be nice but you know little by little we'll be growing and little by little I'll be able to add a little bit more videos as I learn this YouTube world and how everybody does things and if you are already a YouTube um, you know, expert at this, let me know what um, edit program you are using and how you go about this, okay? Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for those of you that are starting to leave comments. I just love them. And um, and just thank you for watching. I really appreciate it, okay? I hope you're learning along, right along with me. Um, there are days that I may have to do, um, just count my points for that day as I experiment. I did that last week, and I think that that also didn't work that well for me but on days that um that I know I'm gonna be going out a lot that may have to work but we'll see how it goes okay thank you so much bye and have a blessed day